What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another Kajabi video. And today I just wanted to walk you through how you can get started on Kajabi. So I think a lot of people, when they purchase a new platform or they want to try it out, they get a little bit overwhelmed because there are so many things you can do, especially on a platform like this, where it's quite robust and there's so many different options. How do you actually know where to start? And you know, some of the best practices essentially to start running your online business. And if you're using a platform like Kajabi, most likely you want to sell your knowledge in the form of courses or memberships or, you know, recurring revenue. And there are just so many things that go into creating a, a system that basically works by itself, but you have to put in the work at the very beginning to get that going. So I want to show you some fundamental steps that you can take today to, to have that foundation. And then hopefully by the end of this, you'll know what to basically do if you're getting started on Kajabi and what to do next if you are already on it, but you want to kind of take it a little bit further. So the first thing I would recommend doing is asking yourself, what really is the purpose of my strategy that I'm doing? If you want to make money, right, then using a platform like Kajabi is great if you want to sell your knowledge and your experience. So then the question comes, how do I actually gain more audience? Like how do I get more followers to know about what I'm trying to sell? Because at the end of the day, if, if no one knows what you're selling or what you're promoting, then you don't make any sales, right? And that's always unfortunate. So how do I actually get that audience? And my answer is content marketing. So putting out free content into the world for free, and then people will digest that, but then they have to also do something for you to build your audience, right? So if you have, if you're on a platform like podcasts or YouTube or Facebook or anything, they can digest free content that you put out there, but they could also just leave really quickly and you will have no other way to contact them. So how do you actually stay in touch with these people and turn them into a prospective customer? You have to have them join your email list or your newsletter. But I think email list is a little bit better because no one really wants to join a newsletter. Um, so in terms of how to actually do this on Kajabi, we have to understand first that email list building is something we do all the time. And audience building is just crucial to the lifeblood of an online business because people who join your email list already know about the content you're, you're creating. They've specifically searched for that content that you created, right? So for example, I, I'm in the music niche. If I create a piece of content on how to compose music and someone wants to learn how to compose music, they might type how to compose music on YouTube. And then they might see my YouTube video on how to do that. But then I also want to link them to a landing page or a freebie that they can download in exchange for their email address, which then gives me their email address and puts them into my email list. So let me walk you through really quickly how to do this on Kajabi. So right now I'm on my partner site and what you can do is under the website tab, you have these different categories and you want to go under pages. So here you can see there are three different categories of pages. We have website pages, which is where you can build your own website. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now because we're not really focused so much on the website just yet. The, the number one priority is collecting email addresses. So I'm going to come here to landing pages. And then here is where you can have the ultimate flexibility in what you want to do with pages. So our purpose is creating an opt-in page, but you can also build sales pages. You can build a podcast page, link in bio pages, thank you pages, opt-in pages, which is what we're going to use. Also coming soon pages, policies, and there's also Kajabi legacy templates that you can use as well. But in this case, let's just go with opt-in and let's take a look at the different options they have. So there are 14 different opt-in pages we have. Um, so we have quite a few here. Let's go with a really simple one. How about Charlie? So we're going to click that. That's a, a template we can use, get started. And then we're going to say, um, opt, oops, opt in page. And then you might be asking, well, how do we actually get people to opt in? Because they don't really want to opt into your newsletter because they already have so many emails coming in every single day. But the thing is, if you have something that you can give them that's super valuable, that they can apply right away to their problem, to solve their problem, then you're much more likely to get their email address because they want to download that thing that you're offering, that freebie, right? So we call this a lead magnet. It could be a video series. It could be just a single video. It could be a PDF. It could really be anything, but something that's super direct that solves their specific problem is going to be really highly converting for you in terms of a lead magnet. So here on this opt-in page, you can see that they've pre-populated some sections for us. We have this little uh, image and then we have, um, you know, let's go outside. So kind of a header to tell us what it's about. There's a little button here that of course you can tweak the text for, um, switch up this part as well. So here, let's just try it. Let's just say, um, download the free uh, guide and, and understand, or 
let's just say, let's do go back to music. Take control of your music forever. Okay, so this is, I, I'd probably be a little more specific than this, but this is just an overview of how to actually put this page together. So anyway, you have your heading, you have a subheading, and then you have a call to action button. And so here you can go to a URL, go to a different landing page, go to a checkout page, download a file specifically, go to a different section on this page, have a two-step opt-in pop-up. In this case, we're just going to ignore that for now. We might change that later. And then here you can talk a bit more about what the opt-in is about. Let's just say, I don't really want this section, so I can click it click delete this section and it's gone. Here, let's delete this section as well. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a form. A form on Kajabi is essentially where they opt in. So they have to give me their email address at a minimum, and then they can also give me other things as well. So here I'm going to click add section and I'm gonna look for form. So it says form and text. Let me see if I have any other uh, just forms. Let's see. So we have images, audio, videos, offers and pricing, FAQs, testimonials, socials. Okay. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to click form. Okay. So let's click form and text. Here we go. This is the new section that just popped up. I'm going to click add. So here I'm going to get rid of this section here because I want this page to be super, super simple. I only want to give them one thing to do. And that is to opt in to my email list. So here again, I have my heading download the free music making, oops, sorry, making guide. And then I can say, compose music with confidence using my free three-step system or something like that, right? Depending on whatever you're offering. And then here you can describe it a little bit more, grab the free guide. And then here you can say the subheading, right? Um, take control of your compositions and release music you're proud of, something like that. Okay, so here we have to click here to select a form to display. And again, the form is where they're going to be entering their information. So let me see, do I have any forms? I do, I can select a test form or default form. I think the default form is the one that Kajabi gives you by default, right? So if I click that, they can enter in their name and email address. And that's exactly what we want. Um, I typically like to collect their first name because if I want to address an email to them, I want to personalize it, right? And I like to say, hey, Jane, or hey, Chris, and I want to make it feel like I'm sending it to that person, which I am, right? So um, usually I'll say first name and email address. Definitely we need their email address, but the name is optional. But let's say we're happy with that. And then their submit button will then uh, subscribe them to the list. And I can send them to a thank you page um, but essentially after they click that button, they'll be taken to a, yeah, a thank you page essentially. So let's just save this. Let's say we're happy with this. And now what I want to do is double check my form itself. So, uh, let's say that this has been completed. We're going to go back to landing pages and I'm going to go to my marketing and click forms. So we have the default form here. Let's take a look at that. Now there are different options you can set here. You have double opt-in and you can have single opt-in. Double opt-in just means that once they click the button to get the guide or subscribe, they're going to be sent another email that will, they'll have to click the button inside that email to confirm their subscription to then receive that goodie. Single opt-in just skips that step and immediately after they submit the form or the landing page, um, then they're opted into your email list. So I go with single opt-in myself to reduce friction as much as possible. Again, here you have the form fields, right? So name you can delete. I just like to keep it and we need their email as well. You can also add in different fields if you want address, city, country, phone number, state, zip code, or create a new field entirely. But in this case, name and email is more than enough. And then here, um, after they submit this form, I like to send them an email. So this is an automation you can set up and there's different things you can do. You can grant them an offer. So if there's something you want to give them, then you can do that. Uh, take away an offer, deactivate, subscribe them to a different email sequence. So these are things that you can do after they submit that form on the landing page to grab your freebie. So in this case, I want to send them an email and that is with that freebie that I promised them. So I can say, Hey, first name, I hope you enjoyed this free guide. And then just click here to download it. So um, if we want them to make a clickable link, then I can just highlight this. I can click upload a file, for example, and then browse files, find that PDF, and then have it there that they can download it afterwards. And then I usually like to bold it as well, just so they can really clearly see it and then go from there. So I'd like to click save. There we go. 
And now this will be sent to them immediately after they submit that form. So sending them that free guide that they just opted in for. Now, after this, of course, you can send them, if you already have a product laid out, then you can send them or, or subscribe them to another email sequence through another automation that pitches them that product. But this is at the at least the, the minimum you wanna do is to give them that freebie. Now, one other thing I would recommend doing as well is in this email, if you don't have a product yet because you wanna to get to know your audience's needs, right? And what they really want, in addition to giving them this freebie, I would also recommend asking them one simple question. And that is if you could, or if, if you, yeah, if you could share, what is one thing I can help you with on your composing journey right now? Since I'm in music, I'm asking about composing journey, right? You can even bold this if you want to. Um, but yeah, you want to make this super clear that they can respond to you and not everyone will, but a certain portion of people will respond to you, letting them know, letting you know what you can do to help them, right? So if you just ask this question, it's better than asking nothing at all. So I wanna know what they need help with so I can create more content and products for them. So yeah, if you could share what's one thing I can help you with on your composing journey right now, please reply and I promise to uh, read it, for example. So you can save that. And now you're going to get the occasional answer to that question, which is super helpful again for building your products and so on and so forth. So this is what you want to keep in mind. You need a landing page, which you can turn into an opt-in page by putting in a form on that page. And then on your free content, you want to link them to that landing page so that they can subscribe to your email list, essentially. That's as simple as that. So in my YouTube videos, at the very top of the fold below the video in the description box, I'll say, grab my free composing guide, and then I'll link to it, which then leads them to the landing page we were just editing, and it has this form built into it so that they can subscribe and they can then receive their email, uh, sorry, receive their freebie through the form. So that's step number one is to make sure you're building your email list from the very beginning. Even before you set up your website, even before you have a product built, you want to be starting to collect email addresses. Um, doesn't matter which email service you're using, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Podia. I've been, I've used all of them in the past. I, I use Kajabi now. It has the email marketing built in, so I don't need a third party. And it does the job in spades more than enough now for what I need. So after this, then you can start focusing on your website a little bit. So let me go back to my main site here. I'm going to take a look at my website, okay? So I'm gonna click website and let's just click customize here as well. So yeah, as you're starting to collect email addresses, now you can start building your website with your own branding and everything like that. So I'll just a quick overview of my site. Um, here in the very beginning, you can see I have a header. I have a little subheading to tell them what this guide is all about. This is my lead magnet for my website. So I tell them, uh, here's, this is a guide for the aspiring composer, orchestration essentials. So if you wanna learn how to put instruments together in your music using orchestral instruments that are sampled, that are virtual instruments, you can do that using this guide here. And then I have a button, a CTA call to action that leads them directly to my landing page or my opt-in page for my orchestration essentials guide. So if I preview this and show you, I can just click this button and it takes me straight over to this page. Again, I just edited it to be super simple. It literally is just the title, the subheading to tell them what it's about, download the guide, and then they give me their name and email address and then send me the guide. And then of course, a little disclaimer, you have to let them know that you'll be sending them more emails uh, or you can say free content, but basically by subscribing, you have to let them know that they're going to be receiving marketing emails from you. So anyway, going back, um, then I have a little biography letting them know about myself, a little picture of me. And if you're providing services, you can also share that as well. And then I have a half of my website is for testimonials, basically all the results I've gotten my, my students. And I have a little a carousel here as well that they can scroll through if they want to see more results, which is cool. But yeah, essentially the main purpose of my website is to uh, give them this freebie that I'm offering. So every so often on the website, I'll say, you know, ready to take control of your mockups, download the free guide here. So there's a section at the very bottom, a little higher up, they can also do the same thing, download the free guide here. And then at the very top, they can also download my free orchestration essentials guide here at the very top that they can see. I've got one more opt-in here at the very top that says watch free workshops. So I created a separate uh, landing opt-in page. If they want to watch this free workshop, they certainly can. And it's a different different lead magnet basically, but this is a video workshop instead of a PDF. So again, this is a different opt-in page, a different form that they can subscribe to. All right. So after you set up your email list building, then you can 
start to create your website. And these are the elements I would recommend you have. Just make sure you advertise your lead magnet, make it super enticing, super valuable um, for your people because you wanna make it basically a no brainer for them to join your email list. And if they're hesitant about it, then it's not good enough. That's the way I like to think about it. So there you go. Um, after your website, then you can start thinking about building your product when you start to get more feedback from your people, right? So let's say they, they, they've gone through your material, they enjoy it, they let you know what they're struggling with, then you can start building your product um, once, once you know what you wanna build for them. So these are my different products. And so it's as easy as clicking new product, then you can click to create a course, community, podcast, coaching. Most of the time we're gonna be going with a course to start with. So we can click get started have a title and a brief description of what the course is about. So I'm gonna uncheck this for now. Um, so let's just say example course and then um, compose compose great music, right? So, in, okay, maybe I'll call it composing course, composing course. Continue, customize your course's appearance. You can add in an image to, uh, basically it's like a thumbnail for the course. I'm gonna skip that for now. Is it gonna be a paid or a free course? Well. If they want it to be paid, then they have different options. Is, are they going to pay one time, multiple payments that end, or is it going to be a recurring subscription for as long as they're subscribed until they cancel, right? So let's just say one time, how much is it going to be? Let's say 497, or you can let them pay what they want. But anyway, um, then you can select payment type, Stripe, PayPal. Let's just say we want both of those options, and then we can save and finish. And now Kajabi takes a minute or so to kind of create the basic bare bones of your product. So here we can see there's a blank module with a blank lesson. And here's where you can start adding different lessons and quizzes and sub modules, import from another course if you want to do that. And you can add additional videos or upload multiple videos at the same time if you have a batch of them already recorded and you want to upload them. But here is where you can start building your course and uh, creating that material. So that's kind of like step three, right? So number one is to start building your email list. Number two is to start creating your branding through your website. Number three is to build your actual course, membership, whatever you want to build for them. And then number four is to actually sell it. So that comes down to email. And let me just go into, back into products and delete this product here that we just created just to keep things clean. Here we have to go into marketing. So marketing is emails, funnels, automations, events, and forms, right? So um, let's just say we wanna create a new email campaign that we want to pitch to our people. You can send broadcast emails, which are single emails that you write and you know they're basically sent at a specific day or time that you choose. Whereas email sequences are triggered automatically when the customer or the lead takes a certain action. So for example, right, if they opt into my email list, then I can automatically subscribe them to an email list or, or into an email sequence that pitches them my product after a few days. So to show you an example of that, my core email sequence is called cinematic music creation pitch because cinematic music creation is my flagship course. And this is a course that I created a while ago and I wrote these emails one time and now basically it sends automatically whenever someone opts into my email list, I basically pitch all of them or send all of them to this sequence. So I have an immediate over deliver workshop. That's the free workshop that I showed you on my website. And then a day one introduction, give them some value. Day two composing quickly. So I'll show you. Um, so the first couple of days I like to give them free value to just over deliver even more, give them more stuff. So I give them some tips, some five practical uh, steps they can take. And then I'll say like tomorrow I have something even more special for you and I give them even more freebies. But then day four is where I start uh, basically selling and pitching my products. So if we take a look at that, you can see here I'm pitching my products. So here's what you get. Here's the discount that you're getting. Here's the bonuses if you purchase this week. And then you know I have a little CT at the very bottom that they can click to purchase as well. So that's the power of email sequences. So once you have your course built or your membership built, then you wanna rely on sequences that they're automatically pitched or automatically subscribed to once they opt into your email list through that lead magnet. And if you wanna be super sleek, you can, if you have multiple products, for example, let's say they opt into a lead magnet that's very specific in one area of your niche. So for my niche, I'm doing composing music, but maybe they wanna learn how to write for the string family, like the violins, right? So if they subscribe to one of my free guides that is specifically aimed at that, like how to write for strings, 
maybe I have a PDF that's free that goes deep into that. Then right after that, I can subscribe them to an email sequence that pitches them my string arranging course instead of my flagship all encompassing course. Maybe I want to give them even something more direct, more specific to their problem string arranging course that they're more likely to purchase instead of this, which is great for an all routed composer starting out. But maybe if they want to solve that specific string arranging problem, then they might be more willing to purchase that course as well. So depending on what email or what lead magnet they subscribe to, you can send them to different products and pitch them different materials, right? Which is also really cool too. But that would be the last step in my, in my opinion. So um, subscribe them to an email sequence. And then as you, as you continue to build your email list, you can send them free goodies, your free content every single week, and then occasionally ask them what they need help with so they can give you their feedback and they feel great because it's like you're involving them in your stuff, right? So it's like a small community, which is really cool. And then as you continue to grow and build, build more courses, then you want to refine your emails, create more email sequences to pitch them more products, give them more great stuff. And you can see how the system continues to work day in and day out for you as you focus more on your free content and over delivering with value. And then they can just go through the system and receive these emails automatically. And then that's how you build that passive income eventually over time. So just to quickly recap, number one is to create that email list by setting up your landing page having your lead magnet ready, whatever freebie you want to give away, attaching that to your form. So uh, basically, as soon as they enter in their name and email address, they click that button that you send them an automatic email that gives them that freebie. And if you don't have a course yet, you can let them know or ask them right at the end of the email, how can I help you right now? What do you need help with? And then as you get those responses, you'll have more ideas on what to build for them. Then step number two is as you're waiting for those responses, you can then build your website Continue to create your free content, of course, but if you want to lead them to your website, then you know you want to have that website set up. And again, advertise your lead magnet, make it super easy for them to give you their email address. And then step number three is to then build your co uh, course, your product, your membership, whatever, your coaching. And when that's ready, you're ready to sell it, then you have your email system ready in Kajabi to help you do that. So again, whether that be through broadcast emails, if you want to do a nice big launch to your email list once you're ready. Also, you have your automatic sequences that allow you to trigger um, whenever they do a certain action. In this case, subscribing to your email list, you can subscribe them and then they'll receive some free value in the first couple of days. And then the paid stuff um, is, is next basically, right? And a percentage of those people who go through will buy, which is super cool. And that's the system. That's essentially how it works. So at this point, like I have my business running pretty much automatically. And the main focus for me is really on the on the free content that I put out into the world, because that is my email list building, right? As I put out free content, more and more people will find it, which then they can find my freebie in the description box, link over to Kajabi's landing page, opt into my email list, go through the emails, pitch the product, percentage will buy, and that it basically rinses and repeats. Like my main job is focusing on the free content because the, the system in the back end on Kajabi has already been done once. And it's a beautiful thing. And that's why I wanted to walk you through this today. So hopefully these four steps kind of make sense. Let me know if uh, if you're confused about anything. I know it's a, a bit of a mouthful today, but I wanted to walk you through this complete process and I hope it was, it was useful. So yeah, if you're considering trying out Kajabi for yourself, um, it's a very powerful platform for your online business. And I just love how streamlined it is. They're continuing to update it every so often, every single month. And it's just great to see. So if, you, if you're interested in trying out the platform, they give you a 14 day free trial on their website. But if you use my link down below, ChristopherSue.com slash Kajabi, then you're gonna get an extended 30 day free trial to try out Kajabi for free. And it is an affiliate link. So if you become a paying member after your, uh, your free trial, then part of your payment will support me at no additional cost to you, but it's just a great way to support my channel if you want to do that. And you want me to make more videos like this, then um, you can use my link down below. And again, it's 30 days, so you get more than double. And as an additional thank you, I'd love to give you um, two bonus mini courses absolutely free. The first one is called Kajabi in 30 days. And this will walk you through exactly how you can set up your business on Kajabi within the first month during your free trial. And if you follow those steps, put them into practice, you can start earning your first few dollars on the platform really quickly and potentially even have more money for Kajabi in the future, right? If you're running low on funds, um, that's a great way to do that. And you'll get that immediately after signing up for your free trial there. Um, the second one I wanna give you is called Content Marketing for Creatives. So this runs through my exact business model that I'm using to build my business, uh, put, put free content out there into the world and then monetize on the back end. 
And again, that you'll get that totally free, but after you become a paying member of Kajabi, you can send me your receipt and I'll grant you manual access to that course. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, let me know if you have any questions. I know it's a it's a it's a path, right? There's there's specific steps you have to take, but I strongly believe that this is the best foundation you can have for your business and it will run by itself into the future as long as you continue to create that content and build that audience, but also impact the world in a positive way with every single thing that you release. So I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.